Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Teddy and I recently traveled to my daughter's house in the Pacific Northwest because we're going to be watching this little one. There's problems all over the place with COVID, with school closures, daycares, shutting down. People are really struggling. One of the other issues that I found was it was extremely difficult to travel here because there, there's so many problems with the airline. So it's just like compounding one problem after another. Then when we went to order groceries for pickup, we put in an order for 42 items. When my daughter went to pick it up, they only had 27 in stock and they substituted 17 of those items, which is ridiculous. So then my daughter went into the store and she said, sure enough, shelves were completely bare. There was absolutely no lunch meat. There was absolutely no yogurt. There were whole places in the store where there was absolutely no food. And so what was left? What do you buy? What do you get? What are you supposed to do? If you haven't been stockpiling foods, you could find yourself in dire straits with the way the world is working right now. If you don't have food on hand, make sure that you are keeping track of what's going on where you are. There are shortages, whether they're telling you that's true or not. It is true. And if you haven't experienced it where you are, you should count your blessings and be doubly stockpiling it because it will be in your neighborhood next. People leave comments on my channel that there are no shortages where they are and this is fear mongering and I don't know where they live or if they're even going to the store, but my experience and those all over the country are telling you the truth. Food is in short supply. Things are costing more. Variety of the choices you have is diminishing. We are entering some very challenging times. So take this time to stock up what you can, look over what you have, make sure you're not allowing anything to go to waste. Figure out how to use the things you have. What can you add to those things to make them more useful so that you have ways to make meals with all of the foods that you have. It seems complicated when you go to the store and there are very few things and maybe we're buying random things and we don't really know what to do with them. Try to make a plan of what you can do with them, how you will use them before you buy them and take them home. Then reach out to your family, to your friends and those you care about. See if they're doing okay. Are there things that you can do to help others? We're all struggling. We want to make sure those that we care about know that we're there for them. We want to make sure that the like-minded people have what they need as well. And we want to be supportive with their community of those that we care for and love and want to look after. Leave a comment of what you're finding where you are because the struggle is real. We can really help each other to see what's coming if we can know what are the struggles where you are. So it helps us not only be prepared, but to be ready to face those struggles if they should come our way. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.